First, clamp the pipes in the clamping devices. If necessary, use pipe supports so that the pipes are aligned axially. Swivel the facer in so that the safety hooks click in. The pipes must be faced simultaneously. Face until an even chip is produced on both sides. Release the facing pressure and open the machine slide again. Remove the shavings. Move the pipes together until they touch. The gap between the pipes may not exceed 0.5 millimeters. At the same time, check the wall offset of the pipes. The wall offset may only be a maximum of 10% of the pipe wall thickness. Clean the fusion surfaces with a lint-free cloth and grease-free cleaner. Having done this, the machined fusion surfaces must not be touched or contaminated in any way. Set the timer to the correct heat soak and cooling time. Clean the heater prior to each fusion using only lint-free paper. Swivel in the heater. Check the heater temperature. The heater should be at the set temperature for this material for at least 10 minutes. Make sure the pipes are in contact with the heating element and increase the pressure to the equalization pressure. Wait until the bead height reaches the value given in the fusion tables. Reduce the equalization pressure to the heat soak pressure. When the heat soak time has elapsed, slide the pipes apart, remove the heater, and join the pipes together until they touch. This procedure must be done quickly in order to prevent cooling off too soon. Increase the pressure to the fusion pressure and hold it constant and steady before you use the stop lever. Now, the cooling time begins. Please observe the cooling time exactly as given in your tables. The cooling time is over. Release the pipes and take the fused pipes out of the clamping devices.